Today I'm going to teach you how to fix any injury that you might have. The things that we need to know is that if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And that most don't lose strength, they actually just lose range of motion. And we got to understand that blood flow heals all. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit and today I want to help you to fix any injury that you might have. Now the thing about any injury that you might have is that if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And even people that are at their extreme destroyed state, somebody that was maybe in a major car accident and they were put into a medical coma, if they were laying on a bed, they would have nurses come in and healthcare aides come in and they would be moving their body throughout all the ranges of motion that they're supposed to be doing. Because what happens is when you go inactive, your body will not have any muscle and you're going to lose all the vascularity in that area and there's a good chance that you could not ever gain refunction into that arm, shoulder, knee or whatever it is. And so if they want to create movement for those that were completely destroyed, then why is it that you that maybe has an elbow thing, a knee thing, a shoulder thing, can't use that muscle but modify, decrease the load and go through ranges of motion? And so something like a shoulder, if we had, let's say, some kind of arthritis in our shoulder, or we had a rotator cuff in our shoulder, and all we're able to do is lift our arm up to this level. Well, what we can do is actively, we could try to get a little bit higher with no resistance. And our very first goal is to be able to lift this arm up by ourselves without any resistance to gain that full range of motion. And so we would do exercises like wall crawls, okay? So if you work with any professional, they're gonna first get you to be able to get that range of motion in all ranges of motion. So that's front, that's all these different angles, or can you all the way back, reaching backwards, that's gonna be the very first thing that they're gonna do. So the thing that they want you to do is to start using that arm, rest, is not the answer. When people say rest, they actually mean reduce. They don't want you to be doing, you know, upright shoulder rows with the max amount of weight that you can, bench pressing until your arm falls off. They're talking about reducing the load. So if you were bench pressing 40s at the gym, then obviously if you tweak your rotator cuff, we'd want to see you reduce that by 50% at the minimum. And the thing that we get caught up in is in our ego. And so we want to start ego lifting because Two months ago, we were bench pressing 40s, but we tweaked the shoulder, we kind of worked through it a little bit, and now it's become a little bit more injured than it should. So us as coaches, we want you to continue to come into the gym. Because remember, this is like 15% of your entire body. We can still work the rest of your body. You can still do legs, you can still do abs, you can still do cardio, you can use the other arm, you can use the other pec. There's so much more things that we can do. So we want you to come in and just use the arm so that you don't lose the arm. The thing about strength that most people don't understand is that we don't lose a ton of strength, okay? So if you get injured, you lose pain-free range of motion, but I've read research articles out there that show that strength is one of the last things that you're gonna lose. You'll lose power, so your ability to jump high, you'll lose that, but your ability to pick up a weight and stand up, that's not gonna really change what you're gonna lose is range of motion. And that's why it's key that if you do have a shoulder injury, that even if you're not injured, that you're working your body through its complete ranges of motion. Every morning, I have a series of stretches that I do that's incorporating my entire body, my low back, my hips, my ankles, my knees, my shoulders, right here, my neck, everything, because everything gets tight right? Especially as you work out, everything wants to get more tight and what you need to do is focus on range of motion. Now, do we completely eliminate strength training because we're losing range of motion? No, you continue with the strength training because there's tons of research articles out there that, that show you that strength training, especially in a circuit style like we do here at Fit Club, is anti-aging. And so what you need to do on your own is you need to focus more on that range of motion. And range of motion is best used throughout the day. So we'll do a little bit of a stretch here at Fit Club, but you need to be stretching first thing in the morning. Definitely be sticking around for the stretch here at Fit Club and before you go to bed and throughout the day. Like, I mean, all you gotta do is stand up. Just take 20 seconds while you're sitting at your desk or whatever, you know, go through these stretches. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to grab here, but you could do a knee stretch if you got bad knees. 
going through here, you can sit at your desk and you can work into your hips so that your hips don't get tight and your low back doesn't hurt. So we have to be working on our range of motion consistently, but that's gotta happen on your time and throughout the day. And the last thing that we gotta understand is everything out there that's new age recovery protocols are all based around blood flow. One of the best medical, not really a procedure, but it's kind of an elective healing is called PRP. And so what they do is they take out your own blood and they make sure that your blood has to be clean. So they say that you should be eating really clean for up to seven days. And what they do is they put it in this fancy machine, they spin it around and it gets separated between your, your red blood cells, your platelets, and I believe it's your white blood cells, okay? And what they do is they take a syringe and they extract the platelets. So basically all of the good nourishment that's sitting within your blood and they re-inject it back into an injury site. Now what ends up happening is the injured site then goes through a state of inflammation. That blood flow is going in there, it's bringing all the nourishment in and it's gonna focus on that one specific area for healing. I've seen people get this PRP into their head because they're starting to lose their hair. So the blood is meant to re-oxygenize the hair follicle so that the hair starts to grow back. Now, if they're doing this for regrowth of hair and to repair injuries, then the simplest way for you to heal whatever injury that you're facing right now is through blood flow. And how do we get the blood flow going? Well, we start our day off with the mobility routine. And if you go into the Fit Club Winnipeg channel, type up Fit Club Winnipeg knee, just type that in. And I've got a ton of great stretching protocols in there that you can do for your knee. Fit Club Winnipeg, shoulder. Go in there, I've got a ton of shoulder rehab protocols that you can follow that's just focused on range of motion. So start your day with range of motion, make sure that you get to the gym early, warm up, do the workout so that you're building the strength, you're breaking down the tissue, which is bringing blood flow into the area, which is building, repairing, growing. And so your body is constantly cycling blood flow it's gonna to help to heal that injury as you go through the range of motion, as you build up the strength, and as you stay consistent with it. So there we have it, guys. Bit of a rant, but I hope that I've helped you mentally get stronger so that the next time you have an injury, or if you know anybody who had an injury, you tell them. If you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. You're not losing strength, you're gonna lose range of motion, so do range of motion every day throughout the day. And last but not least, your injury will be healed by blood flow. Now, if you need a solid lower body or knee stretch, what I've done is put a link to our YouTube channel in the description of this video. And if you're looking to shred right down in 28 days or less, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. We'll see you on the next video.